Hey guys, my name is Ryan from Miami Dade County. I own and drive a 1996 Honda Civic K20 all-wheel drive turbo. Currently running a sleeve 2.0 motor. Has manly turbo tough rods, wide skull pistons, they're 10 to 1 compression, super tech valve train, Proyonto stage 3 cams, Ferreira valves, and that's pretty much it, man. It's a simple build. Turbo setup consists of a sheepy turbo manifold with a 60 millimeter tall wastegate. Has a precision 7285 Gen 2 turbo, and it's a running a uh, Treadstone intercooler. Car is tuned by Columbia CMB Tuning. Makes approximately 9, 960 on 38 pounds of boost. The drivetrain consists of a competition twin disc clutch, PPG Chinese one through four with a cuff, and it has it's running all the all-wheel drive wagon parts from the EF 88 to 91 Civic. The engine management is an AEM version two, and it's tuned by Columbia CMB Tuning. Suspension is pretty basic. It's, it utilizes uh, blocks, drag springs, um, 18k in the back, and I believe it's 12k in the front. Off-the-shelf items. The debut of the car was at the TRC event last weekend. Fast forward now to import face-off. Um, first pass off the trailer, the car went 9-1. I believe it was 172 miles an hour. Second pass was a 9-0 at 172 as well, I believe. And the third pass, the car went 860s um, at 171 miles an hour. Give a shout out to CMB Tuning. That guy works the magic when it comes to the AEM version two. Knows his stuff, and without without him, it wouldn't have been possible. Um, I used to own this car approximately like 10, 10 to 12 years ago. Sold it. It went through a couple of other people's hands. Um, thank God they kept it clean. Um, it was garage kept for the most most of the time that I didn't have it. Um, here we are, 10 years later. I owned the car again. And um, man, let me tell you, man, it's probably one of the few Midori Green Civic around town that's probably this clean. The car is built by me. I do most of my uh, work myself. Um, fabrication, I have a couple of friends that did help me out with fabrication. One of them being uh, Juanito at JCF Fabrications. Um, I have another friend, uh, Juan Diablo. He's from down south, Miami as well. Helped me out as well. Um, Got to give a big thanks to Treadstone Performance. Without them, none of this could be possible. They really came in uh, handy when with a lot of stuff that I needed for the car. When I originally built this car, my intentions were to build a, you know, a nice street car. Um, I built it around the sport front wheel drive aspect, um, utilizing the 7285. You know, I didn't want to have to buy things twice. So with that being said, the 7285 was the turbo that I went to go with. In case I didn't like the all-wheel drive, I could always, you know, get rid of it and go back to it being front wheel drive. But I have to say, man, now that the car is all-wheel drive, I highly doubt I, I would ever own another Honda that's not four-wheel drive. The car uses a set of Roto Circuit 10s, 15 by 7.5, I believe that it is. Um, it runs a Mickey Thompson 225 50 15 street drag radio. Um, tire works awesome. Um, all this was done on a drag radio, um, not a slick. And like I said, I mean, as far as we know at the moment, it is currently the fastest and quickest all wheel drive Civic utilizing a drag radio setup. The car uses a Gato intake manifold, eight injectors, utilizes a set of FIC 1750cc injectors. Um, it runs on C85. Um, it's all pumped through a Weldon 2345 with a Weldon regulator. First and foremost, I have to thank my wife. 
She puts up with me a lot with spending a lot of money because these cars do take a lot of money to build it. Um, second of all, I gotta thank the man behind the keyboard is Columbia CMB Tuning. With only three passes, this car has gone is pretty much in the mid eights. Um, I can't ask for anything else. The goal with this car was to go mid eights on a drag radio, and like I said, with three passes, we did it. And, um, and without the help of JD, JJ Auto Works, Juan, um, Treadstone Performance. Uh, my best friend Josh, NOS51, and Toyo Works. Without them, I probably wouldn't have been able to be where I'm at today. So I have to give it hands down, man. Without them, it's not possible. I want to give a shout out to Manny at CMB Tuning, behind the AEM version tool. Man, hands down. Juan at JJ Auto Works, Machine Gone Wild, Greg and Don. They've been they're like family to me, been there through, through it all, helped me out. And Treadstone Performance. Like I said, man, this car is already exceeding my expectation. Going mid eights on a drag radio and a Honda Civic is, I mean, man, a couple years ago, this would have been unheard of, you know? And here we are, 2020, and we're going mid eights on a drag radio, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta say, man, it's very impressive. So I will be going back to the drawing board, building a better motor. Um, like I said, getting aluminum rods and coming back a little bit harder, try to get a low eights and finding a sevens. This car is a full street car. I drive this car. Realistically, it is a street car, but I do not drive it daily on a daily basis. But yes, it is a street car. Utilizes 12 volts, alternator, has a stock water pump. Very basic setup. Like I said, it's all off the shelf parts. Nothing special. And it just works, man. Simply works.